And this here is BioBite Treats for Horses Peppermint Flavor. They also come in apple and some other exciting uh, flavors for horses. So it's by Great Lakes Agra. And one of the nice things about these is that they contain no sugar at all. And I have seen other peppermint treats which are very motivating for training. Um, they contain binding agents such as honey or molasses, which are pretty high in sugar. So if you don't care about your horse and you don't care about your horse's hooves, go ahead and choose those sugary treats. But if you're going to trick train especially and you need to give a lot of treats in quick succession, I highly recommend this brand, GLA Great Lakes Agro BioBite and um, it's not that expensive, all things considered, for what you'll be saving in farrier costs and veterinary costs over the long term. If you choose, for example, the Purina apple chunks or some of the molasses brands that are commercially available. And so this is what the BioBites look like. I just dumped them into an old MSM container because MSM is constantly uh, giving you containers whenever you buy some of the products that you need to, uh, for your horses. Um, so recently what I realized is that Mad Barn, who makes that Omniity mineral that I love so much, um, I have just picked this up because I was running short um, and it was at Greenhawk and so it was like 15 bucks and it's a kilogram of MSM which will hold me up until the next time I have a Mad Barn delivery. So instead of having to get another one of these mass heavy plastic containers, which came from basic red MSM, actually good MSM, um, I decided to dump a small bag of BioBite in here. So here's what it looks like. As you can see, they're hay cubes, uh, smallish hay cubes. Some of them are longer than others. Um, and they've been soaked or uh, infused with peppermint oil. So it actually smells like a candy cane and my car still smells like a candy cane a day later after picking up the big bag, the eight pound bag. So one thing you can do is you can just take a knife and split uh, with the grain and break them up into smaller pieces. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so usually I will be using a lid of one of the MSM containers as a cutting board here in the barn. Um, whether it's to chop carrots or apples or hay cubes. And so I just keep a paring knife out here from a set that I no longer use in the kitchen. You can do that with a pocket knife as well. And uh, as you can see, it's uh, basically like the largest one is about what you find in the bag. Some of them are a bit smaller. So you can just start flaking off a bite-sized bits that you're gonna treat your horse with. But I tell you, uh, they smell so strong I had some in my pocket with a mitten and Uma just grabbed that mitten out of my pocket and chewed it up. I thought she was going to swallow it, so be very careful about that. Um, it smells very strong. Your horses know that you have it or that you don't have it. So if you are able to train your horse without treats, go for it. Um, because once you start introducing this stuff, it is pretty, uh, pretty potent. Um, one of the other things that works very well, simply because uh, what I have here is Mustangs. They're happy to work just for regular hay cubes. Um, or I also give them Master Feed Crunch as a, a training treat, which is one that I'd recommend for just about anybody. Um, some horses will not uh, react well to hay cubes. Um, hay pellets also worked very well, because if you're using a lot of them, you wanna make sure that you have a lot on hand and they, they don't smell too strong because this stuff, I tell you, um, it can sort of cause food aggression if you're not careful. And that indicates that these things here are definitely a horsey favorite. So we don't have time to check every last pellet and every last hay cube, but it's important to keep an eye out for these. It would not make a significant difference to have a shredded piece of baler twine go through your horse like that, but several at once could be a problem. Um, if you're familiar with the new technologies for baling, then you recognize what this is. This is some of the twine that goes as a netting around the bale. So 
Sometimes if you use older equipment, you have different kinds of twine, um, usually blue twine or orange twine, and it just kind of ties the bale together. And there is uh, some new equipment on the market, and it actually puts a net around the bale. So sometimes when you get to the end of the roll or when you get something caught in the machinery, then the twine or the netting comes apart. This is what happens. You pass the whole bale through a shredder and there's little shreds of baler twine. I will not be feeding the baler twine to the horses. If you get the chance, pull it out. So this is an advantage to soaking your hay cubes before you feed them to your horses. And here is the other fun thing. These girls drink out of a drum and twice a day I get to smash that with a crowbar and in order to minimize freezing you leave the ice on the outside and just break it in the middle enough for them to drink safely.